Hi everyone. You must be here expecting to find something new and fast so that you could speed up your work as you begin to use Google Sheets. Well, I have some wonderful tips and tricks up my sleeve for you. Let's get started. Filter functions in Google Sheet. Sometimes it becomes necessary to sort our data into more relevant one. We can do this as we use the filter function in Google Sheets. Select the first cell of the table and go to Data, Filter Views, Create New Filter. This will turn your spreadsheet into a different look. You can input the name here. The range of tables is also mentioned here. Click the filter icon on the corner of the cell and only select the values you want to display after filter. We can now have the values with only eye injury location with age group 50. Adding checkboxes to tables. To make your spreadsheet more interactive, you could use checkboxes. Go to Insert, Checkbox. Now you can copy checkboxes to other rows and columns by simply dragging the cells. Notice how we check the boxes and total attendance value changes, making work a lot more easier and fun. Visualize data with a spark line. Sometimes we may want to see our data in the form of tiny visual graphs on our spreadsheet. Type is equal to sparkline and select a range of values, enclosing them with brackets. Hit enter and you get sparklines. Tiny, visual and neat. Now you can drag the cell down and copy the formula automatically to other cells. Pivot tables in Google Sheets. A pivot table is used to summarize, sort, reorganize, group, count, total, or average data stored in a table. It allows us to transform columns into rows and rows into columns. We can have multiple layers of rows and columns and also get a suggestion of values to enter within the table. Send emails when you comment. Right click the cell you want to leave a comment on and click at the drop down menu near the bottom. Click Comment. Another window will appear after you click the comment. After that, a pop up will appear. Inside that pop up, type what you want to comment on the text box and put a plus sign to tag a particular email address. By doing this, the person you mentioned or shared the file with will receive an email that serves as a notification of your comment. Check for valid email addresses. If you have a list of emails and you want to ensure that they've used a valid email address structure, then you can check them using Google Sheets. It won't check that your emails will be delivered, but it will help identify any email addresses that will bounce, like the ones missing at or .com. On your list of email addresses, type is equal to is email function and select a valid email address as a model for your Google Sheet. Later when you drag the function to the rest of the column, you will get a true value for the valid email address and false for an invalid email address. Select the column indicating the true or false and select conditional formatting. Set the formatting condition to text contains and true. Color code it to green. Now every time a true condition appears on the screen, 
we can tell by the green color that it is true. Similarly, add another rule and set the false color to red. Remove duplicates. To remove duplicate values in a table, type is equal to unique and select either a column or a range of columns and enclose within brackets. As you hit enter, you will get a table without duplicate values. Integration of Google Form with Google Sheet Instead of manually creating a table of data from a Google Forms into Google Sheet, we can directly send data from Google Forms into Google Sheet by simply clicking the sheet icon on the top right of the form. Name the form and a Google Sheet tab automatically opens with all the data of the form and also the timestamp which shows the time when the data was entered. It will save you a lot of time. Insert a chart from Google Sheets into a Google document. You can use charts in spreadsheets to display data graphically. Once you've created a chart inside Google Sheets, you can insert it into a Google document. From a data table in your Google Sheet, create a chart. You can choose from various types of graphs. I will choose the column chart. You can customize according to your needs. Then inside the Google document, select Insert, then Chart, and then From Sheets. This can save a lot of time since you can update the chart in the document to reflect any changes you've made in Google Sheets. All you need to do is click Update in the document and you're done. Import data from website using Import HTML. Google Sheets offers a function called Import HTML that imports data from a table or list within an HTML page. You can use this function to automatically pull data into a Google Sheet. Copy the URL of the website you want to take data from. Go to Insert tab, Function, Import HTML. Now put the inverted comma inside the bracket, paste the URL and close the inverted comma. Put another inverted comma and specify the query and close the inverted comma again. Close the bracket and hit enter. The entire huge table from the website has been imported into the spreadsheet in seconds. Adding images from URL Adding images to your Google Sheets is simple. Just key in is equal to image and replace the URL with your image URL and you're done. You can enlarge the image by dragging the cells around. It takes as long as 3 to 5 seconds. Translating into multiple languages from Google Translate. It's easy and fast to translate from one language to another using the Google Translate function in Google Sheet. Type is equal to Google Translate. Select the cell and specify the origin language and the language you want to translate into using inverted commas. Later, you can drag on the rest of the column to translate everything. Open-ended cell reference. While using formulas, we select a range of cells, but it only includes a defined range of cells and will not include any other cell value if we want. If we leave the cell ranges open-ended, like selecting only G, it marks the entire column. Now, if we add any more values to this column, it would automatically add to our total.
scrolling tables in Google Sheets. Select a table and go to Insert Chart. It will suggest a suitable graph, but you can select a table chart instead, and it transforms your chart into a scrollable table. You can also arrange the columns in ascending or descending order without changing the original table. Aggregate chart values in Google Sheet. If we have a table with some items repeating, its chart will display each item separately. We could display the item once by selecting Aggregate from the chart and lessen the clutter. It gives an aggregate value of the repeating items as 1. So, those were the best and the most unique Google Spreadsheet tips and tricks you're supposed to know if you've just started working on a spreadsheet. If you come across any use cases wherein you use the above formulas, let us know in the comments section below.